the real luxury of this week has been to have this almost like feeling like you're living in the place and spending, uh, we've been doing um, a lot of our masterclass work has been in the drawing room and to like to really hang out in the drawing room for an extended period of time is a completely different thing than being on a tour. Uh, and to be able to just to to look at the detail in the rooms and to spend time on the estate has been uh, extraordinary. And to see it from the other side has been uh, incredible. The work that we've been doing this week has has been has been incredible for me. Some of it is new information that I never knew. Some of it was is stuff that I thought I knew, but he explained it better. Uh, the whole, his whole way of working I have found to be thrilling, absolutely thrilling. And that his work is, it's, what we're talking about is, is highly technical ways of looking at verse and how to uh, speak verse and how to convey meaning. And, but it's all a means towards getting to the emotional truth of what you're trying to convey. So even though it sounds technical, it is, it, it is absolutely a way of getting at the truth. It's absolutely the way into revealing these stories in the most fundamental way. But yet hear this, mistake me not, no life, I prize it not a straw, but for mine honor, which I would free. If it shall be condemned upon surmises, all proofs sleeping else but what your jealousies awake, I tell you, tis rigor and not law. Your honors all, I do refer me to the oracle. Apollo be my judge. Uh, good. Now, uh, uh, we talked a lot this week about verbs, right? Yeah. Uh, and, and one of the tricks, if you pick up a piece of Shakespeare you've never seen before and you're trying to make sense of it, circle the verbs. And then read it again, paying special attention to the verbs. And I promise you, it will suddenly make sense. Take it again, yeah. and very simply, let the verbs carry you through, right? So these are actors. Actors perform actions. Verbs are the words that convey action. And so verbs are the beating heart of Shakespeare's writing. But yet, hear this, mistake me not, no life, I prize it not a straw, but for mine honor, which I would free. If I shall be condemned upon surmises, all proofs sleeping else but what your jealousies awake, I tell you, tis rigor and not law. Your honors all, I do refer me to the oracle. Apollo be my judge. Great. <laughs> The writing is so astute and so true that if you simply line yourself up with what the words are saying, you will feel the things that the characters feel. It's amazing transformation, right? Simply by hitting the verbs and suddenly the whole thing comes roaring to life, you know? That's great. That's great. Thank you. That's great. I think the space that we have been allowed, and allowed, it's like, it's like the work is allowed to happen. And then you add these extraordinary other actors that you get to share that with and exchange these words with, and it's incredibly moving. Because we don't, as actors, we don't often have the time to reflect and to soak up the inspiration of a place like this. And it's, it's, it is such an honor.